Erica Armstrong Auditorium in Edmond. Can we please put a post in your window advertising your next concert? Thanks very much. My name is Ryan Malone, and I'm the uh, composer and director for the show. I'll also be uh, stepping into the title role. The most exciting thing about David is that he's so versatile. He really relates to every man, every woman, every child. can find something in David's life that connects to them. The idea of the throne being endless, that it goes on forever, that's really what we wanted to highlight. I think that both with this musical and with Jeremiah, that notion of following the Davidic throne through Israel really comes through in a way that has not in really anything else I could name. Uh, my name is Joshua Salon and I will be playing the role of King Saul. The challenging thing is uh, showing all the different types of emotion that King Saul has to portray because when I first start, I'm, I'm young, I'm happy, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm being anointed king, that's awesome. But then as the story progresses, I get jealous and then I get angry and then I'm tormented, I get crazy and then angels come in and then I have to get happy again. So it's, it's just like this emotional battle. The evil spirit is what's troubling Saul, that's a dancing role and that really helps show how um, Saul had some uh, had some mental problems. But then, you know, you have David's harp playing and you have the angels. We have three and four angels uh, throughout the show. Those angels are a key component in the story as well. My name is Paris Turgeon and I'm an angel in the David musical. Personally, I hope that they really love the story being told through song and dance and David's connection that he has with both music and dance. Well, we have 42 dancers in the show, and so I instruct them year-round, and then whenever we do something like this, I also choreograph the Irish step dancing for that. Well, it's been an awesome opportunity to be a part of something this big, especially after doing Jeremiah. It's just, this is definitely on another level, and it's something that the audience is going to walk away probably not even believing what just happened. If you take in the whole program as a whole, it's going to be very positive and uh, uplifting and, and the dance will be exciting and the singing will be you know beautiful and so I think people will leave feeling really good and having learned a lot. This is really a, a grand opera almost in the sense of the, the, the number of costumes involved. They're all original costumes uh, designed by uh, Mrs. Turgeon, Mrs. Hierman, Mrs. Hyde and then, a, and then a host of seamstresses. You have a, a a group who are, who are building these sets and you have uh, Emily Burns and Alicia Lancaster who are creating all these smaller set elements as well. So there's a, there's a great deal of effort that goes into the behind the scenes. It's not just uh, the music, well there's all the recordings we've done to have a pre-recorded orchestra for this production. So there's going to be a full orchestral score, and full sets, original costumes, all the singing, all the dancing, the lights by David Weeks, they're going to be outstanding. I think the audience will be invigorated having it come to life before their eyes in such a colorful and, and a demonstrative way. Really there is a lot to putting a musical together. I hope that everyone comes and watches and really enjoys the show.